this rocket ship was a lot of fun to make, and it's actually one of my favorite things that I've made in woodworking. I wanted to make one for a long time, and Carl Jacobson mentioned something about making a rocket ship in a recent video, and it sort of spurred me on to go ahead and make this for the contest. The capsule comes off. There's a little space in there. Um, the wood is all pine. I used a uh, home a shop made dye made from Padalk and lacquer thinner to uh, stain the fins. And we had a lot of fun with it. My daughter and I had a lot of fun with it last night, making little videos against our backdrop. So watch and enjoy a few highlights of how I made it. I'm going to build a rocket ship. case the nose cone is mostly done it's drilled out on the inside let's see if I can get you down there to see that I'm going to chuck up the body of the rocket and fit this to it and turn the whole thing together pretty good. So what I've done during this project is uh, I take my parting tool and I cut down to a depth. I use my calipers to gauge that depth. And I've made myself a little plan based on this rocket, uh, this picture of an old vintage wood rocket that I found. And for example, this depth here is one and three quarters. This was one and a half. This one will be one inch. And <clears throat> all I need to do is cut down with the parting tool to that depth and then cut off the waste, which will be this section here, and then just blend the whole thing in. I mean, I, I could do it by eye. Might even do better by eye. Who knows? But um, I've done it this way a couple times, and it works really well for me if I'm trying to replicate a shape. So that's what I'm going to stick with.
quick update of where I'm at. I've cut away a lot of the waste and I have began shaping this rocket fire down here. I have it pretty well coarse sanded. Need to do a little more up here. Shape that nose cone a little bit more. Bring that down. I need to bring this down quite a bit and sand it. And then I got to figure out how to these fins, which will go on there about like that. So to put the fins on the rocket, <clears throat> I built a sort of little miniature fluting jig for my router table. Put it in there like that, and just kind of slide across the straight bit. And these fins will just slide up into these grooves like this and then we'll be glued into place. I gotta do a little bit more touch up with the um, chisel, but it'll look something like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. A quick shout out to Summers Woodworking. Thank you very much for hosting the contest and a big thanks to everyone who put up prizes and good luck to everyone who submitted entries. I've been watching the YouTube videos and there's been a lot of creativity, and a lot of tough competition, but in any case, I really enjoyed making this. It was a lot of fun and heck, I might make a whole fleet of them. Can't do it. Go. That was good. <laughs> Land it. <laughs> Not a landing. <laughs> landing anyone's ever heard. So, uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> it comes in from the side. <laughs> it's a hairier. Like those old movies are there. Look, Daddy, it's a black hole. You shouldn't add it about black hole. I'm pretty much done with that. Good play time, Daddy. <laughs>